Okay, everybody, I am back. Time to cut my soap for Amy's Soap Challenge with the Taiwan Swirl. Here's how the top turned out. I'm gonna actually be trimming off the top because I don't know, it, it's always sticky for me when I gel it, it gets kind of bumpy. So I absolutely wanted to gel it. And you can see the color did make it through to the bottom. I trimmed off the ends already, but I will be cutting it this way and this way. Um, but I just want, I don't, I'm going to be trimming off all of the sides and the top. So I've already pre-marked my bar widths, so I'll get that cut first, and then I'll work on doing the edges. And I replaced my wire on my hanger, so, or my wire on my cutter. It was not cutting down to the bottom properly. Okay, so I don't really care about the inside. We're just going to worry about cutting in the middle. So the width is about um, two and a quarter. So that turned out perfect. I just trimmed the edges and had six and three quarters. Divide that by three. Okay, now I'm going to cut the edges off so that my soap can be vertical because that mold that I used isn't very straight. So this will give you an idea. I like everything to be straight, so eventually I'll get a real log mold. I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay, and then I'm going to trim the top. I like to trim the tops because I think it reveals the true beauty of the soap. And I like to do this when the soap is soft. Okay. So this is what the soap looks like. Um, the swirl. So very pretty. So now I'm going to cut it in half. I'll probably just eyeball that. Then we can see what happened underneath. So that's part way through. So you can see, you know, I did get it through, but not as much as I did with the top. So there's that. It's still pretty damp or wet, but I think that's a cute size. And then there's the bottom. I'm not going to trim that because it's fine. Okay. And then let's put that one in the front. Whoops. It's on the edge of the table, so we're going to lose it. I'll put that one behind it. Let's do this one. So I end up with a little bit of soap scrap, but that's okay. So there's that side. Definitely helps to do this when the soap is very soft so that you can cut it without trouble. I just, if I had a planer, I would probably do that. So that's how it looks from the scrap. That's the top of that one. And we'll cut this in half. So 
Let's see what the inside looks like. So yeah, it definitely diminishes. It's still very pretty. Very pretty soap. But um, I think this would be super cute in a slab mold, which I do have and try to get it so that the colors are, you know, in each bar. And then that way you don't have to really worry about it going through. I would just trim the top little bit of layer off the soap. And I would usually, if you're going to do that and you want your bars to still be big, I would probably, well, what I'm going to do is make sure I have a little extra soap batter in there so that when I trim it off, my thickness is still going to be what I want it to be. I just need my bars to be rectangular. So like I said, the soap mold is angled. So so that's that one. So I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. And I'm just eyeballing the half point. I'm really glad I replaced that wire on there. So that's. So it looks like I got the purple down a little bit more than the yellow. But uh, yeah. I think a whiter bar of soap would be very cool. But for this being a lemon verbena soap, the, the little bit of yellow is perfect. And I use 0.64 ounce per pound of oils for the lemon verbena, and it's perfect. I thought I wouldn't be able to smell it, but it's still plenty strong. And so if you look at the ones on the top, you can definitely see that the swirl came through. And I even like the ones that kind of made it through. It's very subtle, very pretty. So I had a lot of fun doing the soap challenge. And uh, I think I realized that for delicate swirls, I just need to use more water. And just so you know, I used a 28.5% lye concentration. And normally I use a 33 to 35 and I was I think I was using that trying to do the column pour and I just could not do it my soap just thickened up too much and sometimes that's fine for other things but if you're doing a delicate swirl like this you do need more liquid or at least I do with my recipe and um, I'm excited for these to cure and try them out so that's my soap for the soap challenge Thanks for watching. Okay, I just wanted to get a close up look. I've got soap on my fingers. <laughs> just so you could see the swirls on that one. And let's look at the swirls on this one. So I think it turned out really great. That's it. Talk to you later.